top 10 mountain bikers to switch over to the road. Ryder Hegedal won a World Cup in Leger, France at age 21. He took silver at the 2003 World Mountain Bike Championships at age 22, but left the off-road world after a disappointing Olympic performance in 2004. His switch to the road included stints with Rabobank, U.S. Postal Service, and Phonak before joining the Garmin squad in 2008. He won the Giro d'Italia in 2012, just 16 seconds ahead of Joaquin Rodriguez. The rainbow stripe tattoo on the inside of Jakob Fuglsang's right bicep isn't for road racing. It's for the U23 World Mountain Bike title he won in 2007. His win at the Tour of Denmark kickstarted his switch over to the road, and he signed with Saxo Bank in 2009. He placed seventh overall at the 2013 Tour de France, and in 2014, he rode in a support role for Vincenzo Nibali, looking most at home on the wet and muddy cobblestones on stage five. Floyd Landis was never a world-class mountain biker, but his racing career started on knobby tires. After a self-described average World Cup career, Landis switched over to the road in 99, placing third at the Tour de l'Avenir before joining Mercury and then U.S. Postal Service riding alongside Lance Armstrong. Landis won the 2006 Tour de France in Phonak colors, but it was the shortest lived tour title in history. The current world champion in both road and cyclocross is a bit of a wild card on this list. Pauline Ferran Prevost is far too young and far too talented to truly be labeled a crossover at this point. Last year, the 22 year old French Phenom became the first rider, man or woman, to win World Cup events on road and off road during the same season with victories at Flesh Wallone, as well as the Nove Mesto and Albstadt cross-country races. Rainbow jerseys followed in Pomferrada in September and in Tabor in February. What will come next for Ferran Prevo? We can only imagine. Frederick Kasayakov turned to road racing in 2009 after a successful mountain bike career that included four Swedish national titles and a podium finish at the 2006 World Championship. He switched over to the road in 2009 and after unremarkable stints with Fuji, Cervetto, and Garmin, Kasayakov jumped to Astana in 2011, joining his former mountain bike teammate Jakob Fuglsang. One of Kasayakov's most impressive results came in 2012, when he won a time trial at the Tour de Suisse, two seconds ahead of home crowd favorite Fabian Cancellara. Michael Rasmussen's time at the top of the sport came to an unceremonious end during the 2007 Tour de France, when his Rabobank squad sent him home while wearing the yellow jersey. But seven years earlier, Rasmussen had worn the rainbow jersey of world cross-country champion before joining CSC in 2001. It might be a bit of a stretch to say that Peter Sagan crossed over from mountain biking to road. In all reality, he simply dominated in every discipline he's raced. In 2008, Sagan won the Junior World Cross Country Championship in Val de Soleil. That same year, he also finished second in the Junior World Cyclocross Championships. The three-time Tour de France green jersey winner is known for his incredible bike handling skills, both on and off-road. In 2008, Jean-Christophe Perrault took the silver medal at the Olympic Cross Country Race in Beijing behind French compatriot Julian Absalon. But it was in June 2009, while working part-time as an engineer for a thermo-hydraulic station, that Perrault took a surprise win at the French National Time Trial Championship. That result brought a contract from Omega Pharma in 2010 at the veteran age of 31. But it wasn't until 2014 that Perrault took his first major stage race win at Criterium International before his career-defining second place at the 2014 Tour de France. Miguel Martinez has the dubious accolade of being the only rider on this list to have done worse on road than off, although he had set the bar high with his world and Olympic mountain bike titles in 2000. The diminutive Frenchman made the transition to the road a year later, but he struggled both with the racing and the team aspect of the sport, ultimately sinking without a trace. He has continued to race both road and mountain bike since then, but he has never reached the dizzying heights of his 2000 season. From a young age, it was clear that Cadell Evans could excel both on road and off. In 1994, at age 17, Evans finished fifth at an Australian World Cup event. Though he won the overall World Cup in 98 and 99, 
Evans never won a World Cross Country title, his career best fourth in the elite category. He jumped across the road in 2001, and the rest, as they say, is history. That's our list. Have we missed anyone? If so, let us know in the comments section below.